Welcome back to Plus Politics. The controversy over the planned 774,000 jobs doesn't seem to be over yet as House of Rep Representative members who belong to the minority caucus have rejected the 30 slots per local government to each member, saying the allocation is unfair and unacceptable. That is not all. The People's Democratic Party, PDP, has also condemned what they call the resort to political godfatherism in the allocation of the jobs to associates of political office holders instead of an open process that will accommodate hardworking youth. That is according to PDP. Joining us to discuss this is Ola Dimeji Fabi, a member of the PDP. Good evening, Mr. Fabi. Yeah, thanks for bringing me here today. And to also be part of this conversation is Reverend Dakbo Daramola, a public affairs analyst, and I also choose to call him a political analyst. Good evening, sir. Yeah, happy to be here. Good evening. Yeah, let me start with uh, Mr. Fabi, straight to the issue. What is this cry about? Because I look at the uh, press statement from the Minister of State for uh, Labor and Employment, he gave the criteria which you are going to be flashing from time to time. And what he said does not amount to the allegation that PDP is making. Where do you get your information from? Well, thank you very much. Um, first and foremost, I'd like to say that um, uh, sometimes when you may have an idea or you may have a process, you may have something that you want to do that is for the good of the people. But sometimes the process is the, the concept, the conceptualization really matters because that is what will really guide you, you know, about what you need to do to really press home your view or your vision or your objectives. And I see that lacking in this. Apart from that, um, 774,000 jobs in a population of 200 million is like a drop in the ocean. And when you even, yeah, Nigerians will thank you for at least giving us this. Is better than none. Our bread says better than none. But for me, 774,000 jobs is, is a, it's like a drop in the ocean on the basis of our employment requirements in Nigeria as of today. So I want us to look at the unemployment statistics in the last five years, what it has come through. Um, 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 unfortunately, uh, the government of the day promised to give us 3 million jobs every year. But unfortunately, we are losing 3 million jobs on a yearly basis. So for me, it leaves much to be desired. When I look at what has been happening since this issue of job, um, 704,000 jobs for Nigerians com comes up, it, 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 leaves a, it leaves a very bitter taste in your mouth, you know, ranging from the conceptualization to the, the process of implementation to the factors of those who call themselves stakeholders. So all of this, the combination of this and the huge in the price of Nigerians that are saying, look, the way this thing is going, this is, it does not look like job for Nigerians. The finances that is going to be used to drive home this project is the common patrimony and everything, all action, all activities since this thing started indicated that this is purely an APC job for the APC okay. members. Thank you very much, Fabi, okay. for your opening statement. Uh, I, I want us to manage the time, which is quite short. I'm sorry for taking your time. Uh, okay, Reverend Dr. Bort, let me read some of the criteria or the selection process uh, and how these committees are formed. Can we have it on the screen? Let me read it to Reverend Dr. Bort to look at. Now, they say that the chairman and the vice chairman who shall be indigents of that state and who are ordinary really, I mean, ordinarily resident in that state. The state coordinator of the NDE of that state will, will be the secretary, one representative of the governor of that state, the chairman of the Christian Association of Nigeria of that state, or his representative, and we have that for the Islam, we have that for, uh, for the market women, and we are asking, where is the concept of godfatherism that PDP is alleging to? Well, maybe for the viewers, because I remember we have been uh, gone through this selection committee before. Uh, you remember early days when we discussed uh, the the whole hue and cry from the 
uh, National Assembly over the, uh, the, the composition of the committee itself or, or other aspects of, of this project. My worry anyway is that uh, when the PDP you know, uh, rises and begin to uh, castigate or want to dignify the process, the wonder if PDP did anything different. We, uh, we are in this country and they were in power for, from 1999 until 2015. So you wonder if uh, if PDP had lifted us out of poverty, even if the APC were to have won, possibly would have used um, whatever platform they have set before for us um, as the precedents. But we, we built on nothing. I mean, so far, uh, there was really nothing that PDP set for us for us to um, follow through as a nation. And I'm speaking purely as you know a citizen of this country, not you know, somebody who is partisan. So for me, uh, members of that committee, are you saying that all of them are either members of APC or all of them are, are directly um, uh, biased you know, sentimental over the fact that they want to fulfill the, the, the mandate of the APC as the PDP is alleging that it's all about you know, uh, settling party, party, party members. So I, I don't want to believe that the chairman of, the, of, of, of CAN in any state belongs to any party. I don't want to believe that um, the chairman of the um, um, the Islamic Council belongs to any party. You know, I don't want to believe that even members of the university community who possibly will be on board, you know, are members of APC. So, you know, the allegation, I mean, so far, if you listen to Mr. Fabi, he has not exactly given us statistics, you know, even accusations from people who were directly affected. You know, if people were dropped um, because they were told to present, you know, their party cards as APC members uh, to, to show that they can be selected. That, that would have been fair. We can begin to look at, you know, such illegality. If any of them were to be said, you know, um, if you do not know anybody, maybe your, your, your referrals must come from a member of the party. You know, if there were direct situations like that, we can begin to deal with that. But to make a very open general statement, you know, a general accusation that, you know, there's a, there's a, the process is flawed because it is an APC uh, government-led um, activity or pro project. I do not think, you know, it holds any water. Um, for me, I just feel that, you know, this program has been attacked over time, which is normal anyway. In the climate of politics, all of these things are allowed. Okay. You know, you see people rising up to challenge each other over something, which purely doesn't lack lack basis. Okay. But it's okay if it is politics. But in terms of substance, I, I'm worried about the substance of the accusation and substance of the matter. As long as it lacks any any substance, whatever we are doing now, it, it just you know mere analysis, Mr. academic Mr. Dato, analysis. Let me stay with you before Fabi you know, reacts to data or, or any evidence that we should. We should. Dr. Daramola, let me stay with you before Fabi reacts to some of the things you said. Uh, part of the contents of that press release from Mr. Kola Lubudion is the fact that. Um, out of the 1,000 in a local government, 800 slots to political cronies. Then he also said that 200 is just for the public, the hardworking people. Part of the things he also said is that um, uh, uh, um, there is clear court political discrimination. And we have a case in Lagos. You remember how the committee was formed when we have the NULTW chairman in Lagos which people believe that is very, very partisan. And we also have a case of the market women leader who happens to be the daughter of uh, Senator Bola Chinubu. Is that what PDP is alluding to? No, PDP cannot allude to that. that there, there's a process, okay? There's a process. Now, who occupies that office? You know, okay, I mean, I mean who occupies a particular office? Now, it, it's not something we can deal with at, at that level. They've set the, the, the committee in terms of the, the, the structure of the committee. Now, if you have set up the structure of a committee, I mean, it's the same thing. If you go to Oyo State, the chairman of the NLTW in Oyo State is somebody that is close to Governor Shehima Kide. 
If you go to other states, you know, you will find that there are people who are aligned or who are close to the okay. present day government. So you cannot say because of that, the person will not vacate the office or will be suspended for the period of uh, attending I mean, uh, selection committee meeting. Okay. That, 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 that does not hold water. Let under me, any circumstance. So let, let, let's listen to, to work, the... They are not, you know, representing, you know, themselves. They are representing, you know, a group that, they, that either they are heading or, you know, that, that they are leading. So... When you look at the process, for me, the process has been fair enough. All of the things that the PDP have thrown out there, are there. They are, for me, they are political statements. Okay, they are good. statements that are lacking let's, the let's hear Like him. I said, I would love to see individuals who have been who have, who have been um, let's hear denied the, the opportunity. Okay, let's let's hear you know, him. This, and this then you can take them October. on that kind of you know um, evidence. Okay, let's listen to Fabi. Fabi. Please, you are here, and these uh, issues that have been raised, what do you have to say? Well, thank you very much. I would like to put it this way. Um, we cannot run away, all right? We cannot run away from an attempt to politicize any program, I mean, in any job being created by government. This is what I want them to understand. You can't run away from it. When PDP had Shopee, the ACN, as it were, had some criticism simply because it was that program was owned by government, and this is the, this is one lesson that this government has not learned. It would have been better if they have brought in, if they have come up with a very tangible initiative that would have allowed private sector participation in creation of jobs. It's not the function of government to create jobs; it's for the private private sector to create jobs. Now, let me give you an example. PDP government under President, former President Olubasan, Olubasan Gobasan job, and Atiku did something spectacular that there's no government that has been able to meet up till now. And what did they do? They created tangible and sustainable jobs. Look at what they did in the, in the telecoms. That is private sector driven. It was, look at what they did in, 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 in the ministry, in the agri sector. Look at what they did in the education. And I'll, I'll, I'll refresh your memory. What they did in the telecom, it was strategic enough to create millions and millions of jobs to Nigerians who needed a job. Look at what additional the former minister of agriculture did when it was on this we wallet on fertilizer administration, created lots of jobs that are sustainable, that are enduring, that are lasting. This is what these guys do not have idea to do. Hold on, please. And look at what they did in the education. Former President Goodluck Jonathan created, established universities across those of the country, employed people, gave them jobs. This is what this guy cannot do. So what I'm saying in essence is that they should have been wise enough to give jobs to those who create jobs, to work with those who, 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 who provide jobs, which is the private sector. So the inability to do that is very, is very... Now, let me now quickly address what my brother said there. You said they have reverend in the committee, they have imam in the committee, they have chairman in the committee. Let me tell you, these people, do they understand the, de the political demography of our country? They will only work on the list that is given to them by APC. They are not going to bring anybody from anywhere. It is the list that is given to them by them that they will work on. We know how this thing works. So uh, for me, look at what happened at the National Assembly. It's, a, it's, it's, it's an enough indicator to tell you what is happening, what is to expect on this on this, on this uh, controversy, uh, 774,000 jobs. Look at what happened. Look at the embarrassment. Look at the uh, national embarrassment they call it, between the, nation, the, the National Assembly and the Ministry of Labor and the NDE. The NDE is statutorily empowered to run this job. Go to the office in Abuja now. You will not see any activity that has to do with job there. So what are they telling us? They think we are fools? Nigerians will never. So telling me that you don't have people that are crying. Wait, in the next couple of days, you will see people on the street that okay. will be protesting that they have been shortchanged by the APC okay, government. Fabi, I know that will happen. Fabi, so that is quickly, quickly, my take on that. Quickly, For them, I don't know. Quickly, how many crises, for instance, quickly, how many crises? Fabi, listen, please. Sorry, I'm going, I'm going to listen. I'm going to listen, but listen the first. Process and implementation of short. Fabi, I'm going to listen, but listen first. Please, uh, I'm so sorry we have just 30, 30 seconds to have your submission on this issue because some youth out there are watching this program and they are saying that is it true that they've been completely, you know, uh, 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 ostracized from this whole planning? How do we capture them? How do we, probably you might make a, a, a suggestion to the selection committee. 
definitely not all we get this job. We are just talking about 1,000 in the local government. Let me start with you, Fabi. 30 seconds, please. So I, I, I just told you, thank you very much. I just told you my opening remarks that these 774,000 jobs is just like, an, like a drop in the ocean. Okay. We can't run away from that. And for me, they should have done something better. They should have come up with a very solid initiative. Okay. Apart from what they are giving us, Nigeria deserves more than this. Nigeria deserves better than this. And I tell you, look at that. So many sector of, uh, sector of the economy that they would have done something better. Now this, this project is going to cost billions of naira that would have been invested in either mining and the mineral resources sector or agriculture sector okay. to give people everlasting and enduring Thank job. you, Fabi. This is what we're talking about. That's all. That's all for now. Okay. Reverend Dakpo Daramola, can I have your submission on this? No, like I said also, I mean, earlier, you know, it's good for PDP to, I mean, it's, it's the nature of democracy. Ordinarily, with all the PDP are done in, in, in you know, throwing us into the abyss of poverty in this country in the last how many years, uh, close to two decades. I mean, a party like PDP should have gone into extinction. If uh, really, because if you want to ask me, look at the volume of fraud and scam that, were, that existed under PDP. If they had laid the better foundation for us, we'll not be talking about where we are today. Nigeria will be in a better place. But because they mismanaged the affairs of Nigeria, that is why we have found ourselves okay. in this state as a, as a people. Um, uh, second, finally, I will say that uh, the process has been initiated is a short-term project, three months to at least support people with 20, 20 thousand naira, just to assist them, you know, uh, and that's what the whole idea is, is about. Let's wait and see. I mean, we're in this country, this same PDP, uh, uh, under Abamoro, uh, where people, there were people who were summoned to come and look for jobs, to come and apply, or just one, you know, um, agency of government to come and apply, and people died. And they have even, you know, they have not had the temerity to step out and come and apologize for creating such a faulty process. Okay. And here we are. Talking about, now, you know, they are teaching us, now the problem uh, telling is getting Nigerians bigger. how things can be done better. But they were the ones that organized, a, a, you know, a scam where people died. Nigerians died for nothing. Just because they were looking for jobs. There are a lot of things to be talked about. Okay, your time is up. To the politics of your time project. is up. And Thank you so much, Reverend Dakota I'm, I'm so the, sorry. The, the I will have you to off your mic now. But for me, I will have to off your mic. I'm sure. Those that will benefit, then we can know if it was only you know APC members who benefited or it went across board, you know, okay. uh, across Nigeria. Thank you, Dr. Daramola, for your take. I'm sure if I give one more minute to Fabi, he has so much to say. But please let's leave the conversation on our social media. Let people look at your statements and give their take on all our social media platforms. So sorry, I may not be able to take more comments. Thank you once again, Oladimeji Fabi, a member, I must even put a proud member of PDP. And thank you so much, Dr. Daramola, a public affairs analyst, and it's obvious that... Um, you come and learn from the masters. Thank you so much, Dr. Daramola, a public affairs analyst. And to our viewers, thank you for staying with us. We'll take a short break now. And when we return, I will be giving you my take. Please don't go anywhere. Here is my take. Why the accusations and counter-accusations continue on the selection process? May I remind the selection committee that the money that will be given is not a contribution from party dues and donations. The money is from taxpayers, which cut across party, ethnic, and religious lines. Therefore, the selection should be devoid of partisanship and political cronyism. Yes, the money is meager, but it must be distributed on merit and based on transparency. Beyond the three months of this scheme, this youth must be empowered to move away from the pyramid of the poorest of the poor. Going forward, let us enthrone fairness and equity. Let us enthrone meritocracy above mediocrity. Let us celebrate hard work above political psychophancy and primordial sentiment. And that is my take on the issue. I remain yours truly, Kaude Ladende. Tomorrow is another day when we have another conversation on some burning issues 
and the political land space. And you can also watch this program, a repeat edition, at 3 p.m. tomorrow. I remain yours truly, Kayode Ladeindi, saying bye for now. <laughs>